Welcome to the Planning Board meeting of March 4th, 2024 at 6.32 p.m. And we, you know what, I may have to close it. We're meeting in the small conference room because they're getting ready for a town election tomorrow. Is this the meeting for the Leary lot? It is. Oh, okay. Come on in, have a seat. Thank you. And we have a guest and you are? Linda Gosensky. Linda. Okay. And I own the 10 Elm and 12 Elm Street. Okay. All right. Um, we just started the meeting. So if you'd like to have a oh, seat, okay. we'll Thank go you. through everything we need to go through and then we'll. Okay. So this meeting will be held in hybrid fashion with the opportunity for both in person attendance and remote participation. Please note while an option for remote attendance and our participation is being provided as a courtesy to the public, the meeting here and will not be suspended or terminated if technological problems interrupt the virtual broadcast unless otherwise required by law. Members of the public with particular interest in any specific item on this agenda should make plans to be for in-person versus virtual attendance accordingly. The meeting will be held in person in the main meeting room of Deerfield Municipal Offices in accordance with Mass General Law Chapter 30A. Anyone intending to record the meeting must identify themselves to the clerk and provide their name and address for the record. And I hope we don't look and stop reading this soon. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, let me know. It's so much fun. All right. Um, let's see. Call to, guidelines for business meeting. Please speak one at a time. Follow Deerfield Code of Conduct. Be respectful, considerate, courteous, concise, and recognized by the chair. And let's see. All right. Um, identify board members. Uh, Satu. Satu Zoller here. Kathy Wittroba. Kathy Wittroba here. Kathy Sylvester. She's here. Okay. Andrea Leapson. Andrea Leapson here. Rachel Blaine. Rachel Blaine here. And Denise Mason here. All right. And review the minutes of February 5th. Has everyone had a chance? And if yes. so, are there any corrections, additions to the minutes? I move that we accept the, meet, the minutes as submitted. I second, Rachel. That's oh, that. Andrea. 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 Yeah. All right. Okay. And if there's no other, I, let's, like, I guess we can't do a show of hands. Okay. Satu Zoller. Satu Zoller, yes. Kathy Sylvester. Kathy Sylvester, yes. Petroba. Kathy Petroba, yes. Leibson. Andrea Leibson, yes. Rachel Blaine, yes. Rachel Blaine, yes. Denise Mason, yes. That's accepted. Great. All right. Our next is... The amendment for the Leary lot and notice is hereby given that the Deerfield Planning Board will hold a public meeting on Monday, March 4th, 2024 at 6.30 p.m. on an application filed by the Town of Deerfield for a site plan review amendment for a property located at 59 North Main Street, Map 168, Lot 128, for the addition of an underground cistern, an irrigation system to the parking lot and other improvements behind the main storefronts at the corner of North Main and Elm Street pursuant to zoning bylaws. Chapter 179, uh, 155 application documents available for review and for municipal offices were online at www.deerfield.ma.us in the calendar event. All right. And I'm sorry, we have Linda. Yeah, the, uh, go uh, you know something? I think it's for just the cistern and everything. I don't think I need to be here. Thank well, you for coming. I, have, I, have, I don't know how to build one. Oh, I don't either. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, and I don't think it'll impact uh, Your my property. property exactly. Right. So, are you on this side of the line? Uh, I'm on the right hand. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Say, say, yes, I, say what the, your address is again. Yeah. Uh, 10 and 12 Elm Street. 10 and 12 Elm Street. Yeah. Okay. Elm Street. So it does abut it. Yeah. Right. right. And, and at the very end. And okay. there were um, concerns that I had, mm -hmm. but it sounds like this is for something else. Right. Wait, okay. So do you work? So what were your concerns about the Leary lot? The, the, well, you know, the, the planning and um, et cetera. Well, I just wanted to, to know uh, exactly how it would look if it's directly related to this and that with my lot. Um, okay, well, you know what? 
Just to let you know, <laughs> not actually. Okay. Because there are a lot of people. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Okay, so I, I have I have it. I'll read this for you, for you and for everyone. Yeah. I did get an update from uh, Christopher Nolan, who's our artistic, yes. assistant town administrator. So thank you for all your patience. Our team works on finishing touches on the final Leary lot design at this time. With consultation from our architect at Berkshire Design Group and our consultants at Rivermore Energy, we do not believe we are adequately prepared to have the current iteration approved by the planning board for construction due to the addition of the grant funded level three fast charging EV stations. The electrical infrastructure will likely need to be slightly expanded, which will require consultation with our electrical contractor and a larger transformer pad in the top middle section of the lot than the one currently shown. Mm -hmm. We also continue to wait guidance and formal grant agreement from the Federal Highway Administration, which could result in further minor adjustments. And I anticipate we will be in much better shape by the April 1st planning board meeting to be certain that our final design is construction ready and not subject to further tweaking. I'm happy to discuss with any of you individually if you have outstanding questions or concerns on the matter. So if you okay, do- I you, did, uh, yeah, okay. talk to Chris. Yeah, you can get in touch with Christopher Nolan, our assistant town administrator, he's wonderful. And you know, we're just pretty excited about this because um, he worked really hard on this and we got additional funding to put in these other EV chargers. So and they are up, they're up, up on the other side of the right. Of your uh, right. Okay. Yeah. Right. So I mean, it's going to be a great parking lot. It's going to be really beautiful. EV charges. <laughs> I, I have to tell you that some of my tenants are very concerned about mm -hmm. it because what's nice, they have really made um, it their home. Made it very yeah, and, I, and, I and their their little property and right. all of that, and their. Well, they can come to the next public meeting. We did have a, a, a previous public meeting and we did send out invitations to the abutters and I think they have gone around and spoken with them. And okay. to my knowledge, I think everyone was mm -hmm. pretty okay. happy. So, but if there are any issues, then we can sure. certainly discuss them at the next sure. meeting. Well, well you didn't have to that. travel that far, so. <laughs> Uh, wait a minute, I didn't have to travel that far? No, you didn't have to travel that far to get here tonight, so. Well, you're not, you're not in residence there. No, I am not she in residence. Has renters. I, and in fact, she's the, she's the, fact, I would think right, that right. I, I, live in, I live in Lovebrook. Oh, that's yeah. asked, but it's not far. <laughs> so, but I think that you're a no, butter. it is that far. Butters, but yeah. that's the thing, she's notified, not those renters. So that's oh, okay. Okay. So that, yeah. okay. You want to and, alert them to our meeting next time just to ask yeah, townspeople, residents in town. Okay. They're yeah. certainly okay. available to and do I'll, that. I'll, I'll and I'll take off of you yeah. what to say. Yeah. Yeah. You know, have your concerns they have I mean, that letter and you know, hey, this is the meeting and et cetera. Mm -hmm. So Okay. Good <laughs> it is right. I mean it is you are you're you're Right. Right. Okay. It, it does, it does, so I, I really have to pay close attention. Yes, you do. Yes, I really do. Can I ask a quick oh, question? Oh, sure. I'm sorry. Yes, Kathy. Yes. So this is Kathy Wittrova. I just have a quick question. How many um, tenants are there in that area? Uh, well, some have two people. There's uh, uh, four apartments in the back building and there are five apartments plus two commercial in the front building. So it could be, you know, okay. two, four, six, I mean, or your residential, depending. Residential, four residential. Yeah, yeah. you know, okay. so at least, I, I, I would right. say at least 12 above. Yeah. You know, it could be 15. I don't sure. So, okay. so, so there's quite a few. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that was my question. Yes, thank you. Uh, and they're all concerned and they use sure. all the uh, amenities of the town, which is good for the right. town. Mm -hmm. And when you have tenants that like where they're living, <laughs> it's happy. better for the town and it it's better good. for me. Yeah. Well, Linda, although they didn't receive the letter you did, I mean, you can, um, you can let them know that. And I, you know, um, if I recall correctly from our last, the first meeting, um, I think people did go around and talking to some of the tenants. 
Mm -hmm. So, but mm -hmm. if you could let them know, then sure. they're welcome to come to. It's April. April first. April first. Yeah, yeah. I think that's. Are you sure this isn't a challenge? It's not a challenge. No. no. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> what is the what are is the planning board supposed to be doing about this tonight? Since they're we're not doing anything. anything. We're just oh, also the meetings. So we want to continue yes, it. We so continue. I, I yeah, just came to the wrong meeting. That's all. Well, in a way, the right one. We just opened them, but then it turns out right. we don't have anything to to review. So right. we're just right. going to continue that. Yes, that's great. and I just want to make another comment too is that every time I've been here people have been so kind Good and generous as they should and, but not not all times are like that. Right? <laughs> exactly right. so I appreciate okay. your kindness I really do well it was nice meeting you it's nice see meeting you all April 1st okay. yeah maybe this is not a joke yeah. It's not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take care of that. Bye. Bye. Is that her purse or yours, Denise? I believe it's April first. Is that your purse? Oh, my purse. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, thank you. I was make sure it wasn't hers. That's all. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Purse first, first all sounds the same. Okay. Yes. So, um, so on that note, um, we do I hear a motion to continue? I, just, I move that we continue this. Um, Public hearing. Public hearing. Okay, so April sorry, who Andrea. just made that move? Uh, Angel, Angel and Andrea seconding. Thank you. All right. And all in favor, Kathy Sylvester. Kathy Sylvester, yes. Kathy Wittroba. Kathy Wittroba, yes. Satu Zoller. Satu Zoller, yes. Andrew Leibson. Andrew Leibson, yes. Rachel Blaine, yes. Rachel Blaine, yes. Denise Mason, yes. Okay, so that will be continued to April. Let me just double check. I'm pretty sure it's April 1st. So, so just for the record, it says it is the first one. Yes, it is. It, it it will be continued to April first. All right. Okay. So the next the next A and R is fifty nine Matthews Road. Want somebody here for it? So why does it say what 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 is fifty nine North Main? That's the Leary lot. That's the same. Yeah. Why does so there's an A and R on that as well? Confused. I can explain that. Um, Thank you. Yeah, so when they did the original ANR, Hamshaw is going to, and you'll be getting a site plan review in the next few months. Hamshaw is expanding their building. And the way they want to build it, nobody realized that um, it's one of these weird, uh, the site and all the various rules regarding the lot that they couldn't build it the way they wanted to because, you know, one corner was just a hair too close to the line. So what they were doing, if you look at the ANR, is we're swapping an equal sized piece on one end for an equal sized piece on the other, it's a north and south. You'll see it at the top and the bottom. Um, this is just a little triangle. And by making that swap of exactly an equal amount of land, I think it's 311 square feet, um, that allows Hamshaw to build the way they want to build. And so it's... Uh, we actually did a swap a lot like this um, my my aunt's place on the vineyard, we just changed the line a little bit so our neighbor could have something that she wanted. Um, it's, it, it's uh, Bob's looked at this. He's okayed it. Um, it, yeah, it should I mean, be like a very... I think they, they talked about this. This has been ongoing. This is... Right. So does it require any action by us? Uh, no, I think I think Bob's Bob has no issues with that. I mean, I don't need to endorse it. it. Excuse me. Don't we need to endorse it? Well, I think we'll need to endorse it, but I I know this is confusing. Endorse it, but we're continuing the public hearing. It's separate. So it's I think separate, yeah, separate. and I think we just endorse it. Um, it would be nice if Bob were here to tell us that, but it's such a, a straightforward right. Thing. Okay. And otherwise, I think um, it, correct me if I'm wrong, Amy, but it'll just happen if we don't do it. It, it happens automatically. Um, yeah, if you leave it long enough. I mean, well, you guys have to sign it, actually. Well, I think you have to sign it to get it recorded. I'm yeah, not, I'm I'd have to confused. look up the exact rules on ANRs, but um, if you guys can sign it, that makes 
makes life a lot easier and it will make the town happy and it will make Hampshire happy and there's no reason not to sign it because it doesn't need approval. So I was going to, I'm going to, so have, um, that we in, endorse the ANR for the Leary lot. Um, the land swap, land swap um, that is proposed by, and I think it's actually the, the um, town, isn't the town the, yes, making the, they're yes. the, they're the, out of here. Yes, the town is the proponent, and, and I guess to right. be official, we should call it 59 North Main Street. Uh, 59 North Main Street. So I, I, I move that we endorse the ANR for 59 North Main Street as proposed by the Challenger Guild. All right. And this is Andrea, I second. All right. Um, everybody, let's see, Kathy Sylvester. Uh, Kathy Sylvester, yes. Tatu Zoller. Tatu Zoller, yes. Kathy Wittroba. Kathy Wittroba, yes. Andrew Leapson. Andrew Leapson, yes. Rachel Blaine, yes. Rachel Blaine, yes. <laughs> Andrew Mason, yes. I don't know. Yes. Okay. okay. You're right. Thank you, Rachel. I know. So, for, yeah. So th this needs to be signed. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kathy can swing by and sign. Yeah. There's please. a mylar in there. The, the two of them are labeled with pink labels at the end. So you just need to sign them. And I think someone will have to come in because we need four signatures. Yes, and okay, so so we're all set with that. We'll so we'll sign that, and that I think what was confusing is that we have that, and then we have the lyric. So so that, that public hearing is still open. Yes, that's correct. Well, the public hearing is still open until April first. Okay, so the next uh, the next A and R we have is for Matthews Road, and Amy, I thought that someone was going to be here once again. I think this is something that um, Bob said. There weren't any issues with. They are just um, dividing two lots. Although we, you know, as it says on the application, we have no idea. You know, we can't say that it's a building lot. That's up to Bob Walden. So, and one concern I have is that this they only yeah. septic. Um, that this was Andrea saying the septic is um, uh, on the lot. It's going to be yeah. Hold on. Uh, a little a little background on this. This was actually approved by the planning board several years ago. They never took it to be recorded, and now they've decided they I think they want their kids to live on the the second lot. And uh, so they're basically they have to repeat the whole thing because they've lost the mylar and it's outdated. And so they're just really doing it again. Bob had absolutely no concerns with it. Um, no, that, that sounds good. As a matter of fact, I think these were the individuals that own Savage's Market that is now Bittersweet Cafe, and I believe they moved out of state. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that is, there are no issues with that. Um, so do I hear? I move that we endorse the ANR at, what number is it? 59, 59 again. Mm -hmm. weird. Mm -hmm. uh, Matthews Road. Um, yeah. Um, for the application presented to us. And I second uh, Kathy Sylvester. Okay. Um, all in favor, Kathy Sylvester. Kathy Sylvester, yes. Satu Zoller. Satu Zoller, yes. Kathy Wittroba. Kathy Wittroba, yes. Andrew Leibson. Andrew Leibson, yes. Rachel Blaine. Rachel Blaine, yes. Denise Mason, yes. All right. So we will sign this. And who did you say, Kathy? With trouble, will come in and to be the fourth signature. Thanks. Because we just need four signatures. So if anybody else wants to travel in, feel free. But okay, so you can come in, in the morning if I'll you swing down. It's fine. That's I'll fine. mask up. And Amy, we'll just leave it here. Is that, is that okay? Yeah, that's when yeah. you're coming to vote. You don't have to do it tonight. Come tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can, yeah, okay. No, 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 no need. It's not a right. A lot of us. Yeah. 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 So you can just, if you guys can sign that while you're there, and you can leave everything there. I'll come in in the morning and clean up. Sure. Thank that you. Sounds good. Mm. Okay. Wow. This is a very short meeting this evening. And productive. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very productive. Okay. So one thing that we do have. Uh, I can't think of any old any old business. As a matter of fact, I spoke with Amy today and I was just asking questions. I think we talked about this last time that oftentimes we 
we, uh, you know, people come to the planning board, we okay it, and we never hear anything back. So I spoke with Amy, and she's looking into the solar array on our landfill mm -hmm. to see what's what with that. And she's also, you did get in touch with, I think, the attorney for Vesh. Hadn't heard back, so she's getting back to John Furman. Mm -hmm. And I did have the question about that, because when we were there and we did a site visit, we noticed that the um, detention pond, their first detention pond, is weeded over. It's a mess. And so Amy's going to look into, I, I don't think, Amy, did you say there's no electronic file on that, which I find odd? Um, but going to look into that and see yeah, what so, Yeah, I am. Um, let's see. So I did email John Furman. I heard back from him. He said he thought they were actually getting close to uh, getting started on that. So we will, you know, begin. And actually, I guess he said they had asked um, VHB um, for uh, uh, an estimate to be the construction manager, which kind of tells us that, yeah, it looks like they're, they're going to get started. Um, and I know, you know, we did already give them the decision on this. I was not able to find their original decision to see if um, it said anything about the maintenance of the detention pond. I, I'm gonna have to dig through some files to find that. Um, what I didn't do and should have was check the decision that we made um, back last year to see what the conditions on that were like, I don't think, I think we did talk about the detention pond. Yeah, there weren't we? any conditions on that for that. I, I think what, what made us really think about it was Cumbies and wanting them wanting to put in EV chargers and us realizing that the detention pond was a mess. And so, and we looked back and I think you realized that we hadn't got reports from them in close to two years and we should have gotten them um, so we're holding their feet to the fire. So, you know, I think we need to hold Vesh's feet to the fire as well. Okay. So yeah. moving into another phase. Agreed. Yeah. So, so Amy, at some point, I mean, if in your searching, I hope that you're able to find that or, you know, let me know. I'll, I'll be in tomorrow. Maybe we can talk about it. Yeah. That. Yep. Okay. So, so that's what else. I think there wasn't anything else going on. Sunny Maybe. days. It seems like they're. Moving out. Yeah. They're out there with their axes. Yeah. And yeah. Now they have a backhoe. Yeah. Oh, good. Good. I know I didn't. Can I think? Can I think? Uh, we do want to talk about appointing somebody to the CPC from the planning board. Yes. As a matter of fact, I think there I think that Satu was interested in doing that. So would anyone like to make a motion to appoint Satu to the CPC? I move that Satu be appointed to the CPC. Do I hear a second? Second, Andrea. That's um, Rachel and Andrea. It's Rachel and Andrea Shaw down here. It is. Yes. <laughs> well, she here. So Kathy, Kathy Sylvester? Kathy Sylvester, yes. Thank you. Satu Zoller. I didn't even get to campaign for this position. <laughs> <laughs> Don't but I will okay. when you're like running against the person who's sitting next to you. <laughs> so I'll, I'll yes, I'll vote for myself. Yes. Kathy. Kathy Matrova. Yep. Kathy Matrova. Yes. <laughs> you said yep. Rachel Blake. Yep. Andrew Leibson. Sure. Yes. Yep. Yes. 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 So congratulations, Satu. Yeah. We're happy hey. that you're in the city. Excellent. Yeah. Kathy Sylvester has been appointed CPC by the select board. So, oh, so you're going to stay on? Yes. Oh, brilliant. Just, yes, on the CPC. Yeah. Who's chair of that board now? I am. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's a joke, but nobody else wanted it. And I was Not like, a joke. You know, <laughs> that is awesome, Kathy. That is excellent. That is, excellent. That is a very important Board. I think it's a very important board. And congratulations on that, Kathy. Yeah, oh, yeah, so, thank you. Well, it was either me or Lily. I couldn't do that to her. She doesn't. Not. Not. <laughs> and so anyway, sad. that too, though, you know, you could be this vice chair, you know. I'd be happy to be vice chair. Oh, wonderful. I'm going to talk about that next time we meet. All right. But I'll wait till you're there. I know. You yeah, can't. this week, like I said, unfortunately, I can't make it, but after that. 
Yeah, we have one on the 13th and the 27th. It's busy in March and mm -hmm. April, but then it gets much quieter. Amherst, Amherst um, CPC is uh, putting, taking out a parking lot. <laughs> it's got a big thing, like, proudly built by the They're CPC. taking it out? Yeah, where the Mary Maple is. No, I know where it is. I, it's gone. No, it really? Runs. Parking's gone. Oh, I assume they were repairing it. <laughs> They're removing parking spaces in Amherst. Oh, that's brilliant. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> and it has a big like sign like, you know, your CPC dollars at work. I'm like, what? Why well, they're not my CPC dollars? <laughs> well, I, really don't know about it. I think I think we're a little more thoughtful about our CPC dollars. So well, we're you. we're trying. We're going, I mean, to we're going to have a public comment March 27th, and you're encouraged to come because, you know, we need to know how people, there's a huge, as you probably know, Denise, yeah. um, budget request for yes. the 88 building, which is going to take a lot of the money that we have, and it well, is it is in the town's, the town wanted to save this building, and so this is the way to do it, but... Um, right. Well, we'll save that conversation for that, and um, hopefully we'll have all accurate information for people by then. Well, they put in a pretty excellent the senior center. I've been the senior center. And the senior center. And the, center. And the, and the, and the, the school. And the school. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Great. All right. So we're going to move on to other business. And I know this is looking farther ahead, but I think, I think Cassie realized that we had a meeting tonight and they had to set up. So she was looking ahead to November uh, and November 4th is the election. So we can't mm -hmm. meet, the, you know, the previous day. And then we can't meet the, the next week because November 11th is veterans day. Uh, okay. So we have to decide when we want to meet and we can either choose another day of the week, which might get confusing mm -hmm. or a little bit a week into October, two, two in October. We and could do that. And Let's check in November. November. Because honestly, then you start. Yeah. I know. It gets Bumped into, I mean, yeah. And usually, I thought it was against the rules to have a meeting it is. the night before. Not just for the space, but like, who knows? Oh, the really? Rules. We're violating the rules right now. Right. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. That's my sense, but anyway. Uh -huh. Let's not tell anybody. It's on now. Okay. It's on tape. Okay. Good job. Thank you. Uh, so maybe the 28th of October. That's what I was. I mean, because if we can't do it yeah. on the 8th, I think that's fine. I mean, that's sorry, the 11th. Okay. Well, that's okay. And then so, the 18th. I mean, we do the 18th, but then the 18th puts us that close yeah, to. Let's, yeah, yeah. Let's let's. I I I like the 28th because um, the first meeting in October will be October 7th. And then we've got three weeks, so that's for mm -hmm. it. Okay. okay. So, Amy, did you get that? Yep. Uh, 1028 for the November meeting. Yes. Okay. That sounds good. All right. Good. Take care of that. All right. Any other business not reasonably anticipated? Anybody have any business? Uh, let's see what else? Any reports from any committees? Do you want to do public comments first? Because we do have a well, yes. Uh, nope. uh, Mr. Franceschi, do you have any comments? I mean, we there's no there's no public the public Sorry, hearings no, continued for the much going. <laughs> so there's really not much to comment on. Nope, no, just listening in. All right. I came for the public hearing and the discussion of the Leary lot, but I guess that's not happening. So no, it's it's being continued to April first. Um, can I just mention that one? The reason why I wanted to come for that, and I just wanted to mention it to all of you, so that it's at least on people's radar, is that in the plan, at least the one that I saw, it has the bicycle parking lot in the middle of the Leary lot, mm -hmm. as opposed to where the bike lane is going to be approaching the Leary lot. So it's forcing cyclists to go through the lot, which is endangering people on bicycles, whether they're walking or riding their bikes. They shouldn't be mixed with the cars. They should be at one end of the lot or the other so they can you know, have a clean access to their own parking. 
Well, just remember April 1st, and you can certainly voice your concerns at that meeting. Yep, will do. Think, thank you. Also, um, it turns out too that um, some of the concern, some of the reason we're not looking at it tonight is because there's still some some engineering or they're, yes. they're still looking at plans. So that might be worth dropping a note to um, Chris. Uh, yeah, I was thinking, I, I yeah, I can do that uh, tomorrow. Okay. I, I'm okay. putting that in my notes here. Okay, sounds good. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Okay, okay. thanks. That's a good point. Okay, so Andrew, do you have any? Um, the Open Space and Recreation Committee has spent a lot of time figuring out how to uh, permanently protect four pieces of four parcels of land that the town already owns. It has become a very, very complicated um, process, and we believe we now have a way of doing it. It is not the first way we thought of. It is not the second way we thought of. I think it may be the fourth or fifth way we thought of it. Turns out we learned that we cannot apply for CPA funds because the land was not purchased with CPA funds. Mm. So, yeah. yeah. So there's that, and the, uh, the Franklin Land Trust um, turns out does not want to hold a conservation restriction because people are using the land already. It's very difficult to control them. And um, so we're gonna do this in a way that doesn't involve a conservation restriction. So when I have the exact um, way we're going to do it, I promise I will share it with you all. People are using the land for what? Biking. They're it's already traffic. It's bike. already traffic. Yes. Recreational. Yes. Okay. Which is part of the reason you want to hold it for perpetuity. But because they can't be involved in that because they feel like it's already. Well, because they, you would have to. They would say, this is the way the land is now. This is the way we'd like to maintain it. Mm -hmm. And people are putting in jumps and using right, it. Right, right. So no, it, I can changes the- Yes, yes, yes. So, so, that's, uh, so that's part of the reason. And then the other reason is we discovered we can't use CPA funds. Mm -hmm. So uh, we figured out another way. Um, we'll, and the Open Space Committee will be meeting with the Conservation um, Commission to- um, Figure out this other way. So the 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 goal is to hold the land outside of any kind of possible purchase or change of use. It's not correct. Owned by the, sorry, yes, owned it, by right, the, but it's not permanently protected. Exactly. So we're we are um, protecting it permanently. Good. Good. potential sale or change of use. Correct. Yeah. Great. Good. Yeah. And that has taken about six months to figure all of this out, maybe even longer, um, but it's- At least it's getting time. figured out. It is, which so, is- So which thank which you. We are, yeah. That's really, it's really important. Yes, yeah. the select board didn't know about this. The planning board, didn't, I don't believe- Is there any it's like a whole old growth thing going on no. there too? No, that's not, no. no. <laughs> and that's the beauty of actually having conversations with us, with everyone. <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. No, that's great. Um, Kathy, do you have anything to? Yeah, the CPC had uh, three applications, two historical, one uh, for the 1888 building, which you're somewhat familiar with probably. And the other one is to restore a uh, painting that um, was in the St. James Church at one time. It's still actually there. Uh, but not owned by the church. Uh, it's owned by Chris Harris. And they want to restore the painting. It was done by a famous painter. So, and then they, we have one um, recreational application for the Tritown Beach to build a dock. Um, so, and we also found out that our state matching funds next year are going to be substantially reduced. Um, probably because there's not a lot of people buying homes and we're funded by the Registry of Deeds, um, you know, the the money paid when you have to file a deed. So um, that was disappointing. Uh, and that's, so anyway, the, the application period is closed and we deliberate on these about recommending them this weekend. The you said you had two historic ones? 
two historic proposals? Yes. Yeah. So one is the painting, and what's the other one? Building. Yeah. Building so media. the painting. Oh, the building is a historic. Not. Yeah. 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 Yes, and the paintings are small. It's a phase one. There's. They're going to have other phases and. So I'm I'm in contact with Stuart Saginaw at the state level because there's some concerns about that application being religious in nature, being privately owned. So we'll see what happens with that. Private ownership, because we, we went down this path with them before. Yeah, you can't. Do that. Yeah. I mean, you you can, but it's really not advised. So. Um, but he, you know, the plan is to donate it, but it hasn't been official. So anyway, that we have to kind of, I'm, we have to sort through that. Mm -hmm. Um, and then this, the senior housing. Um, oh yeah, and there's there is the public comment that's on March 27th for people to come and hear about the different proposals and give their opinions about how they want their taxpayer tax money spent. Um, just to give us some feedback. And then um, the senior housing, we really don't have any updates on that right now. All right, thanks. Any, Satu, anything on the library? Yeah, the building committee's meeting next week to talk about the bids that have come in for subcontractors for building the library. I think they're due this coming Friday. Um, if they look good, we're going to move forward with a move. Um, actually, the general contractor bids would be opened up then and due March 20th. And if everything looks good, the moving date, I think, is around March 21st. Uh, but that's subject to just everything going well with the bidding. And then the library will be closed completely for two weeks while um, everything is moved from one space to the next. The temporary space looks really good. I think they've done a great job with the floors and I think the kitchen will be usable and the bathrooms and everything. So I think the li library staff's very happy with that space. Uh, and then I, we're planning also a, a ribbon cutting and who will invite to that. And I think that will be early April. So things are moving. And then, you know, within a year from that ribbon cutting, we're hoping that the new library will be built. So. I said to when is the meeting for building committee because I wasn't at the last one. Oh yeah, meeting. it's next Tuesday at 4.30. I'll send a reminder, but yeah, next Tuesday. Okay, great, thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I can't remember, did I read this last time? I mean, and I haven't seen it, but it is incredible. Thank you, Eagle Brook School. <laughs> Once you do those floors, like that, those floors no, are the gift. They're gorgeous, yeah. <laughs> They did the floor. Like, uh, someplace here. Well, T.A. Well, Sullivan also earned, yes. earned a little extra points because they they worked with the town really closely to keep mm -hmm. costs down. They earned some big points. Okay, so I'm going to read what they did. Fellowship Hall received a new roof, two new electric circuit breaker panels, complete electrical rewiring, sand and refinish floors, mm -hmm. three new bathrooms, one of which is ADA compliant, a new ADA compliant ramp, a new fire detection system, and fully repainted ceilings and walls. I mean, that is incredible. Yeah. And you know, we've got to thank Tim Pilchi because he has been looking into all the appliances for the kitchen and induction stove, a new new um, hood fan, a uh, new refrigerator, and what else? Oh, and then um, doing um, countertops, quartz counter, quartz countertops, quartz. Yeah. So I can't wait to see it. It's going to be really nice. Mm -hmm. So that was all paid for by Eagle Brook? Not entirely. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. What they've done, no, we have money. Um, the town has money. We had $100,000 from Joe Comerford that she, that we got from, well, she that, wasn't just she for that. that wasn't just for that. Part. No, that wasn't just for that. That was for senior services. And she said, yes, you can absolutely use it. that for that. Plus, I think we had another, I'm not, I'm not sure if it, this is correct, another $300,000. So we do have money to buy all of the, all of the appliances. So the only, new. excuse me, new. Yeah. So the only, and new floor too. And the only thing that will be left, which is big, is the sanctuary. All those uh, pews need to be ripped out. They've got lead paint on them. Mm -hmm. Plus they're all attached. I mean, it's not like they're standalone. So that will eventually have to go. And then... 
and then possible it probably shoring up of the floor because standards have changed substantially. You know, you can only have so many pounds per square inch, so that'll that'll change. But eventually, after the library moves out, that will be a senior services and community center, and we'll continue working on. So you know, the 1880 building won't be seniors. That won't be no. senior services. No, it that will be the municipal. municipal. That will be oh, here right or there. there. Yeah. there. And I think we're still waiting on a $4 million federal earmark um, for that building. Right. So when the budget is passed, when it will happen. I've sort of lost track. Right, the state budget. Yes. I but know. it was a big budget. That's for a federal, the federal budget. Well, that's a that. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, then keep. Going. I know. I know. But it was, Eagle Brook did do the, they did the contract. They were the. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But thank you. Yeah, yeah it was good. That <laughs> yes. was good. Yes, I mean, there's a lot going on. It's great. And I think it's really important to continue, you know, uh, reporting this at our meetings and other meetings so that people know whoever watches these meetings. Yeah. It's exciting. It is. Very exciting. It's very okay. exciting. There's a great article my sister sent me about how important, and I always said this, but how important <laughs> libraries are, their their basic infrastructure. And yeah. uh, we lose that. It's said a lot, but then, you know, rubber hits the road, fire, police, and roads, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. schools, yeah, no libraries take a distant fit. So it's yeah. just a really important, important not to lose that. Right. So, you know, oh, just one other thing. I think we're working on, I think um, Tim Hilchey was talking to Phil, the architect for the library, just to find out for the solar committee. Um, what the square footage was, so we can get an estimate on putting solar on the library roof. Mm. So, yeah, lots of moving parts, but you know, things are moving ahead. All right. I don't think there is anything else. Here, just mm -hmm. this. Do I hear? I move that we adjourn. I expect happy Sylvester. Yeah. I thought it was the Rachel and Andrew. I know. Oh, she's fine. She's, she's not happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, all in favor? Kathy Sylvester? Kathy Sylvester, yes. Kathy Zoller, yes. Kathy Mitroba, yes. Andrew Leibson. Andrew Leibson, yes. Rachel Blaine. Come on, yes. Denise Mason, yes. So, meeting is adjourned.